Hey everybody, it's John with Freshwater Systems. UV disinfection is one of the most commonly used ways to disinfect water as it enters your household. And it's probably one of the most effective. But like any water treatment process, it takes maintenance. And today we're gonna to go over some of the ways that you wanna maintain them and some things to be aware of as you do. A UV system is incredibly effective at deactivating microorganisms. What UV doesn't do is have a residual, unlike chlorine that stays in the water until you open the faucet, the UV disinfection is done when the water exits the chamber. So when we install a new system, before we activate the unit, we will absolutely disinfect the household plumbing system. We do that by using some chlorine or, or a little extra chlorine than what you typically find in a city water supply and run that through all the plumbing in the house, let it sit and let it eliminate any organisms that are downstream. Once the UV system is fired up and that chlorine is all gone, there's nothing that really maintains the disinfection. But as long as our system has integrity and we're not adding anything anywhere downstream, we're comfortable that the system is being a good disinfector and there's nothing downstream that's going to reintroduce bacteria. However, when you shut these systems off, take them offline, um, and water runs through the house, then you are gonna have to shock the system again when you put it back in, in uh, service. So a key thing to think about when you take this apart to service it, you wanna make sure you're not putting water through the house. If you do, you need to go through and disinfect the entire plumbing system. And I will also say that's not a bad idea to do every now and again, maybe every couple of years, disinfect the entire plumbing system in the house. Ultraviolet works really well, but there's two key things that has to happen before water even reaches our UV system. And the first thing is it's got to be absolutely clear. If there's any cloudiness to the water, it's not going to be as effective. And the other thing is we need to get rid of things that can coat that quartz sleeve. So we need to have good pre-water treatment and pre-filtration. Even if we've got really nice clear water, not a lot of iron or, or mineral in it, and let's, let's use an example of city water and you're using this as kind of a backup so that if anything in the city water supply should fail and they're not able to guarantee that the water is disinfected, the UV system in your house gives you that peace of mind. Well, even if the water is clean and clear, you still need to have a five micron sediment filter directly before the UV system. Now the UV system and that 5 micron filter, typically if you have an in-home water treatment system, it's the last thing the water passes through before it goes to the house. In any case, that 5 micron pre-filter is incredibly important to keep that clean. So maybe a good maintenance uh, timing would be when you change the lamp, change that pre-filter. If you don't have a lot of dirt and debris in the water supply and you're still getting good flow through it, you can leave it longer. But good rule of thumb is, and, and they're not that expensive, go ahead and change that pre-filter out every time you do the lamp. Now the reason for that 5 micron sediment filter is a term we use called shadowing. So if you remember the old western movies where the cowboy crouched down behind the horse as it walked across the street and nobody could shoot him, it's kind of that same way with a living organism. It can actually be behind a, a piece of sediment or debris as it passes through the chamber, which means it's going to come out the other side unaffected by UV. So it's really important that that 5 micron pre-filter be in front of every UV system. And that's not just a specific manufacturer. They don't recommend, they actually tell you, you must have that 5 micron pre-filter in front of the UV system. Some systems come with a monitoring device 
that checks UVT, ultraviolet transmittance. And that's the intensity of that UV wavelength coming through the quartz glass and through the water. If your water's cloudy, that UVT is going to be too low. If the quartz glass sleeve is dirty, the UVT is going to be too low. So if you don't have a monitoring device, how do you know? So it's not a bad idea to periodically test your water for bacteria. Uh, you may have a local lab. There's certainly water tests that you can test bacteria for. We sell them. Good idea to do that on an occasion. That way you know the system is working. Systems can look like they're working. Uh, these UV lamps do emit visible light. Don't look at it. It's going to be harmful. But it doesn't necessarily tell you that the UVT is germicidal and being in an effective disinfection system. So periodically, the best way to know if it's working, test for bacteria. So to summarize and finish up, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Always change your lamp every 12 months. Now if you have a system with an amalgam type lamp, that's two years. But those are typically pretty rare and sold for specific applications. So the majority of the lamps in a residential setup, 12 months, 9,000 hours. If you fail to do so, you're not going to have a disinfection system. Number two, quartz glass sleeve. Um, keep it clean. Maybe every other year, if you've got moderately hard water and you do not have a water softener, then you may need to replace that sleeve annually as well. Get your pre-filter about the same time. Make sure that that's giving you good flow and it's giving you good five micron filtration. Next, never touch the glass with your fingers. Either wear a latex glove or use a cloth to hold it with. Anytime you touch the glass on the lamp, it's going to affect its performance. In fact, you can ruin that 9,000 hour lifespan. Quartz glass sleeve, if you touch it, you're going to block UVT and you're, you're diminishing the effectiveness of your system. You want to get what you paid for and that's good disinfection. Next to that is make sure your water supply is good to the UV system, meaning it's clean and clear. Get rid of iron, get rid of hardness if you can. And lastly, if you shut the system down and you got water going into the house, um, you're going to have to shock the household before you fire the system back up. If you do those things, the UV system is going to do exactly what you bought it to do, and that's disinfect the water going into your house. Well, that's all I got on maintaining UV. Be sure and like our video, subscribe to our channel, and check out all of our UV supplies at freshwatersystems.com.